What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another highlight video. This is a double header bounty video. We got the mid sticks bounty in the beginning and then a higher sticks one afterwards. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And uh, yeah, I just come back from a vacation when I recorded it. And I don't know, my energy was good. I was feeling good that day and it produced some results. So enjoy the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Lots more to come. Thanks for the support. And I ended up just like going to bed at around like 2.30 to 3 a.m. every day and waking up at like 10 a.m. Com complete flip-flop of the schedule. And I gotta be honest, I am feeling it. Pretty good turn. We get bet and call. Just half pot here. Eh? I mean, there's 8-4, there's 8-9, but... I feel like that somebody would play it differently. Plus there's like flush draws. Okay, they called. They had a set. Nines. I'm gonna go for the flat. Like maybe they shove some eights and sevens here if we flat. It's kind of nice. Not like I really want a three bet, get four bet either in this dynamic. So I'll just call. Uh, turn we see like two X overbed jam with not a lot of air in the range. It's like such a hard hand to fold with my. Like with my exact holding, oh my god, so sick. With my exact holding, like having outs if they have like a weird king, which I, I feel like it would be a pretty weird play. We block the straight, there's a lot of like combo weird hands. I cover by so much, I cover for the bounty. You know, there's a lot of reasons why I was like curious. And I mean, hey, they had queen eight of diamonds. They had a combo hint, like I was saying. I mean, realistically, if I didn't cover them by 3x, I probably don't make that call. It's it's like, you know what I mean? Aces against middle pair. Nice. Calls with a seven, which is annoying, but not gonna be a ton of instances where we get called and we're super happy either. It is one of the weakest hands I would shove. If you're asking how my holiday was, it was great. Yeah, it was great. Uh, spent all of it with my, my family. Did a lot of, you know, nice outdoor activities, skating, walking. Stone bubble here. Hurting. Seven out of seven. Committal three bet all the way to seven and a half blinds. Nice. That just helped us make the money. A little main cash, 70 bucks. Never turn that down. I'll never turn down 70 bucks. I even have some bounties too, not bad. Hoping for a call. Doesn't get much better than this for six blinds. Nice, double up. So 13 and a half, we're gonna cover two stacks now. Oh, the blinds just went up. Look at these stacks now. We're so short. Tens, we get the call off at the FT against sevens. Nice. So back to back against Apina for the stack. So we got Don Ron on 40, and then me on 20, and then 10, 10, 6. If they shove, I will go for this bounty for six bigs. I guess kind of no matter what. I mean, the bounty or the... Well, the ladder is decent. I was going to say the ladder is not much, but the ladder is decent. 
Queen Jack against Jack 10. Perfect. Nice. Really nice. Yeah, I didn't know about the ACR. Didn't know about Abaron. Unfortunately, the super user I did hear about. Another, another Royal Flush! We've seen two of our opponents make Royal Flushes. In the last 10 minutes. My turn next. 45 bounty. Second biggest bounty left. If I shove, they get to play for this double bounty. They might gamble. I'm just going to call. Fold. Okay, Queen Jack or 10 for the bounty and the ladder. Nice. Let's go. Three handed. Slight lead on the Don Ron. Ace eight. Hmm. I'm gonna limp this one. I don't. I, I don't want. Think we want to jam for twenty five. It's like a bit of a waste, and like we just get called by really strong hands only. I think. Um. And like we don't want to raise fold, and like we don't. We kind of don't want to raise call. So. Limp. Check, check. Okay, we're okay with the park control, I would say. Wouldn't say there's a ton of value in betting, like... Maybe, maybe some... Like, ace-5 suited, but they might just check that back. Pocket fives, but they might check that back. Alright, they did have an ace-5. Fair enough. 310 fold. Ace-6, we're gonna... Keep checking. Wow. And I'm just going to try to get a check raise in. Snap call. Let's go. Snap call. They had a king. Double check back with a king. Now we're just in the open jam territory with a very short stack. We should be able to fold out lots of better hands too now. Starts to become very useful. This one we just want to shove now. Have decent equity when called. And we just want to fold out lots and lots of hands. Put the pressure on with the short stack. Good luck three-handed. Against King-10, it's a flip. That's a full house. Let's go. We're heads up. Jack seven, we run into tens, not looking great. Uh, Don Ron, after picking up the tens, is now in the lead. Go post flop with the queen ten suited. I don't think shoving does a ton for us. They're not gonna fold like king jacks or ace fives. Not the best board at the moment. I mean, ranges are wide. They could have some nonsense. But still, two over cards. Bet flop, check, check. Still some king x, maybe. I mean, bet check bet is kind of scary just because, like, why not bluff on the ace if you have, like, nothing? Whereas, like, I think a king makes quite a bit of sense. Maybe, like, a queen jack. Uh, do they have a worse queen? I don't know. It's tough to say. I, I I can see maybe calling, like, hoping they have, like, queen something, but... Not a bad pair. We got the spade as well. Alright, we win that against the Dawn. I think call's good. I don't, I don't actually think jam is terrible either, but... In position, suited king, probably going to be best to call. <laughs> I 
I do have a pair. It's just it's a lot of danger out there. It's a good river. Good river. They go half pot on the eight eight run out. Nice. Let's go. Huge call, honestly. Gives us a big lead. Huge call. Okay, we flop top pair after isoing. It's a it's a very weak top pair, but it is top pair. Good luck. What do you got? King four. Boom! That's a win. Nice. Yes, uh, 55 hyper for 723. Really not so bad. I thought it was going to be less. Wow, the, I mean, the prize pool is 1k. Okay, it got 1800. That makes more sense. It got 1800. I was like, man, it's a 1k prize pool. How are we winning 700 bucks? But, okay, not not bad. We got a win on our first day back. Small field hyper, but we'll, you know, we take these, man. 36 players. First place, we take them. Now, let's get in some more games. 215 turbo bounty. I think we can mix that in. How much lay reg in this three minutes? Thanks for the resubs today, guys. King nine on queen nine four against the gained flower. Check. Bet. Raise this. <laughs> Realizing this felt now looks a lot like in the money felt. Let's make it look. Final seven, sorry, final five of this turbo. Holy shit, this guy's got 143 big blinds. Oh my goodness, that is a ridiculous stack, okay. Oof, this min cash is pretty big, but I don't know if I could fold against this stack. This guy's got too much juice. Too many, too wide, surely. Alright, chill out past the slow down, sir. Man, he slows down, but we brick. Um, I think I'm just gonna check. I'm gonna check. I feel like we can actually just win sometimes because their range should be wider. If I lose this pot, I'm still doing okay against these other short stacks. Hey, there we go. It's one thing to say it. It's another to actually have the best hand. Yeah, see what I mean? Look at this. 8-4 offsuit. So, yeah, that worked out nicely. It, it kind of proved my point a little nicer why I would be slightly less excited to bluff queen high if we're just gonna win anyway. Start with the flop check. Kind of, we we kind of want to pot control on the bubble here, at least for one street. My opponent says, "Too bad, so sad." You're facing big bet now. Good luck. And I say, "Too bad, so sad." I run better than you. Two pair. They say, too bad, so sad, I'm not gonna pay you. Uh, I think I'm gonna check. I think if they have a king, they're gonna value it anyway. Just let them bluff. It's not super likely they have a jack either, big betting the flop, and I have a jack, so. I think since they have a wide range, if they have a king, they're gonna bet anyway, then checking seems pretty good. I also have a bunch of like just random, I have a bunch of random pocket pairs in my range that like really don't wanna put money in, ace highs that really don't wanna put money in. Um, so yeah, against the wider range, I think I think checking is pretty good. Money trees in the cutoff. I'm gonna go non all in and call off here. Go for an induce. Money tree is gonna be acting as kind of the second chip leader here, with also a very big stack covering everyone. So we got we have chip leader number one, but then we have chip leader number two whenever they fold, <laughs> or if they're in the big blind. Hunter bounty is pretty good, but I'm gonna fold. Okay, we got Queen Jack hunting Ace King, round two between these two. Okay. 
Now it's the stone bubble. There's a clear short stack. I'm tied with money trees and the chip leader remains the chip leader. But yeah, we've done pretty well to close the gap uh, between money trees and myself. And also there was a time when I was tied with the two short stacks. So it's been a pretty, pretty great five handed match. Okay, ace, ace. We even got the short stack of the big blind, which is even better here. Gonna be going a little bit bigger with my range to give the big blind slightly worse price. Oh my god. I think with aces we wanna we wanna get a bit funky here. Their best hands they're gonna shove anyway. We want like queen eight offsuit and garbage to be in there. Uh, top set check. We want them to hit a random pair. Okay, now we got double flush draw. Some straight draws, maybe. <clears throat> Snap fold, queen jack was dead. Nice. Bubble went just as good as it could have. That was, that was nice. 7-8 with the min raise. Against the min raise, I should say. Go for a check raise with the 7-8. Take it down. Gonna flat against the raise. Don't want a 3-bet fold, don't want a 3-bet call, don't want to go all in. So, call it is. Multi-way. Call it is. Not sure if I want to lead here with the big blind still just having everything. We don't mind if it checks through. We can usually call a bet. Swing and a miss. Queen high. Four liner. Just trying to think like this is gonna be a lot of ace high, king high. This player would have bet a lot of their six X and like these two pairs. I think I'm gonna bluff. Could be like a nice sneaky little bluff here, to be honest. Get raised here. Okay. Snuck right in. 7 8. Check it back. <laughs> Raise the flop. They call. At least we pick up outs. I mean, I'm representing a 9, so it'd be a little weird for them to shove a lot of hands on the turn. Four and a half, 12, 16. Yes, yeah, sets, sets up a river. It's probably a sizing I would go with a nine. Hey, if it's not gonna be blue, make it a six. If it's not gonna be blue, might as well make it a six. I'm all in. This is where we hope we're, we're running into trips. No time bank and go. Oh, man, that was lucky. Let's go. We're heads up. We get the bounty. We get the ladder. That's huge. Sick. Runner, runner against trips. Well, that is why you use those sort of hands. You use hands that can make straights, make, make some flushes if you're bluffing. That's why you pick those sort of hands usually. Because you can get better hands to fold, but then also you can make a hand by the, by the end. Three X snap fold. All right, we're heads up against Earn Pasta, who was chip leading for a long time. Kind of a bad turn. We could go after like King High, Ten High. Pair of threes. I don't think people are folding a pair much. Heads up. Maybe maybe some of those high card hands though. All right, I like big bet. We have good equity. And we want to fold out ace highs that beat us. 
I don't think like check check diamond and we suddenly start making a bunch of money. I don't think check check ace and we're super super happy because yeah, we beat like pocket whatever, but we can just win against pocket whatever all in anyway. So I feel like just yeah, getting folds or like stacking off our equity is pretty good there. To kick it, kick us off this hour. Oh, this guy's this guy's playing really fast now. Maybe my deuce is good. No. <laughs> kind of sizes up. Five doesn't do much for us. I mean, we beat a four. I guess it does that. Bet check. I mean, let's let's try to get a four to call. I mean, we have a five and a four. Big bet on the flop. Kind of polar. I, by the way, that last couple of words, that was me changing my mind. <laughs> the last thing you guys heard me say was, let's, let's go against a four. But then I did the opposite of that. Because it's less likely they have a four now. Um, and their sizing on the flop was like, they could just be bluffing, so I wanted to let them bluff this one. Let's check it back. The six, the weak six. Uh, I'm gonna go for a value bet now. Ooh. Go half pot. It's a little extra thin with the diamonds, but take it down. I think I'm just gonna reshove here. They seem to be raising quite a lot, so. These kind of shoves should make decent money. Shit. Oh, my first shove, I run into Ace Jack. It's annoying. I mean, Ace Jack was min raised, so maybe I shouldn't think about it that way, but. It's just a pretty ugly hand, Queen 3 0. I need comeback chips here. I need comeback cards. Oh, yeah. That's good. All right. Top two against. 8-6. Nice. 8-6 is a very strong hand there. Heads up. Top pair with the gutter. For those stacks. Unlucky. This time we're ahead, ace 10, ace deuce, king 10 for the win. We're gonna lose again though. Back down to the 40. <laughs> One of us has 40 and the other has 20. Uh, unfortunately, I'm back down to the 20. Sucks. I mean, we had an all in for the win there. That's always a good sign. If you, get, if you can ever get those, you did something decently in the tournament. If you can ever have your opponent Needing to win the all-in to stay alive. You've done something reasonably well. They size up here on Jack-10-6 flush draw. Uh, not thrilling out of position against this price. Eight high flush draw. Uh, if I didn't think they would call like King-10 like they did earlier or like Queen Jack and stuff like that, I probably wouldn't shove. But yeah, I think they will. The more they're gonna raise call nine ten suited, jack ten, whatever, queen ten, the more just going all in is, is nice against raise. And if they're folding all those, then calling becomes pretty good just because we want to keep in the dominating dominated range. Open ender. Loves the connected boards. Loves the connected ones. Yeah, I don't really mind seeing hands like that. People don't... I'd be surprised to see them fold something like that if I bet like a normal size on the river. Maybe I could go all in, but... Queen high can win sometimes as well. Ooh, 
sneaky. It's a four liner. Oh, man. They picked the four liners perfectly. <sighs> Snap call. Better not have a straight here. Okay, just an eight. Pocket fives for 15. We can start shoving as well. I don't mind that, but. For a limp. Uh, delay bet. It's like these. A lot of draws they can call. Uh, yeah, I mean, so much that misses. 8x can bet turn for them, so. I think the ratio is like too good, to be honest. And I don't have an 8 almost ever. I almost never have an 8, and like, there's too much that misses. And like, turn, you can definitely just bet some of your 8x if you're them, whereas. Still a lot of draws that check call, so I think a nice lead from them, but I don't necessarily think I need a fold. But yeah, I mean, nice play again for Mr. Pasta, kind of getting my getting me today. I mean, we almost beat them all in, but they made a comeback and then kind of owned me for the next 10 minutes. All right, back to 15 blinds, winning all in. That's good. Wow, blinds have gotten so high. That was it. Now we're just now we're just tied. I think I will raise call this one or limp call. I'll go limp call. Don't hate these ace king X boards. Like when we're this shallow, they can shove a lot of those kind of things. So we don't mind our hand generally. Question is which way to go here. I'm gonna think of it as like a very thin value bet. All right, now we're in shove territory. Blinds have gone up again. Now we just kind of want to start to shove some of these hands. No, oh, king. Come on. Get there. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Man, it's like so it's so disheartening to see the ace, but it's like hold on, you can just win. You have 40%, just win. All right, for the win, 8-3, it's ugly, but for the win, it is ugly. But that is not ugly. That's not ugly. That's a profitable sesh. $1,500 in the 215 Turbo. All right, $1,500. bucks. GG to, to Pasta. I mean, they played well. I feel like I maybe got outplayed in some spots. Like, I, I don't really know because I don't know. I It's likely I got outplayed in a few spots because, like, I kept making kind of hero plays. And if you make enough hero plays in a row, you're probably going to be wrong on some of them, right? GG's. Nice win. GG to them. I just ran better all-ins. Um, yeah, so cash is up to 2600 on the day. Nice start to the year with a win. Enjoy your night. See you next time.